are you a musician who owns a TurboSound IP1000 or 2000 that just stopped working? In this video, I'm going to show you the most common issues these units have and how you can fix them using stuff you probably already have laying around the house. Let's go. What's up, guys? My name is Adam. I'm a musician and a content creator. My goal is to help you make good money playing music. If that sounds like something you'd be into, please give this a like and follow the channel for more content like this. So a few years ago, I was trolling Craigslist and found an amazing deal on this TurboSun IP1000. If you're not familiar with these products, the TurboSun IP1000 and 2000 are these column style line arrays, and they're great for all kinds of applications. They're low profile, they don't take a lot of space, and they sound really good. This one was on Craigslist for half of its retail price, so I didn't hesitate to pick it up. And over the next few years, this unit easily paid for itself five, ten times over with all of these solo acoustic gigs I used it on. Then the pandemic hit and this sat in storage for over a year. When it was time to start playing out again, I plugged this thing in only to find it was emitting this terrible crackly white noise static from the top half of the column. And this wasn't just like a noise floor issue, it was completely unusable. When I went to go investigate it, it seems like this was not an uncommon issue. Now, buying this thing secondhand, I knew that it was way outside of warranty and my options were fairly limited. So I started doing some research and apparently there were a few people brave enough to open this thing up and figure out what the issue was. And it turns out fixing it was not terribly difficult and didn't require any special tools. But I couldn't find a single video on YouTube that walks you through the process of fixing this thing. So I figured I'd take it upon myself to make one for you guys. Before we go any further, I think it goes without saying that I am a complete moron. Open Opening up this unit will definitely void your warranty and could potentially lead to injury. Dealing with power sections is incredibly dangerous and should not be done by anybody who is not a professional. Okay, are all the nerds gone? Let me show you how it's done. To complete this repair, you're going to need two items, a Phillips head screwdriver and some contact cleaner. Once you've disassembled and powered down the unit, you're going to remove the five screws from the top lip and 12 more screws on the back panel. Don't forget that random one in the middle. From there, we will unplug the back panel from the base unit. That back panel has a ribbon connector at the top and then the speaker connector on the bottom section. Go ahead and unplug both of those. Once disconnected, go ahead and apply the contact cleaner to the power amp port and the ribbon connector. Repeat those steps on the plug side as well. And for good measure, go ahead and apply that to the pins on the tower as well as the plug on the top of the base unit. Once everything's cleaned up and the contact cleaner has dried, go ahead and reconnect the cables from the base unit to the back panel. From there, you can start screwing everything back in, realize that using a regular screwdriver is a waste of time, then grab a power drill to speed the process up because nobody cares about this part. So after doing all of these steps, I plugged everything back in, ran this thing overnight, and I'm happy to report that I haven't had these static issues since. Now, I can't guarantee that this is going to work for everybody, but it did work for me, and if you're having this issue, I think it's worth a shot. If you have any questions about this process, leave those in the comments. I do want to thank all of the members of the TurboSun IP users group on Facebook. I never in a million years would have thought it was as simple as a bad connection, but it was an easy process, and I'm ready to use this for all my gigs this spring. That's going to do it for this week. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. We post new videos every single Friday. Also, if you didn't know, Cover Band Confidential is also a podcast. We have over 250 episodes talking about all the ways that you can make good money playing music. Have an awesome week, and I'll see you next time.